guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes 9 and 10 of To Your Other Self. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. Come here, babe. His shoes are here, but... Mm. Okay, I'm guessing y'all possibly know each other since high school, maybe. I got you, babe. Hi, hello. How you doing today? Okay, I'm gonna put you down so you can lay down. Um, I still think because Yu's mom is so devastated about her sister, it's still the reason why she is a certain type of way towards her son. But then. It seems like also maybe because when her sister died, um, maybe her mom, I don't want to assume, possibly committed suicide or something and died of a broken heart because that's your child. And no parent wants to bury their child way before they do. And it seems like Haruka's mom and Yu's mom knows each other. So I feel like they, they probably were high school friends. Maybe. I don't know. Um, and if they were, was she there to console her? There's still so many answer questions. We're, we're nine episodes into this show. And it still leaves you with more questions rather than answers. Um, and I, I get it. As I've been told once, many times, just like with Sciencegate. Any questions that I have that are not, are not ugh, I can't speak, um, are not going to get answered till later. But then when you're waiting for answers to be in quite, uh, your questions to be answered, you get brand new questions over certain characters and situations. And you're sitting here like, well, dang, what about this question that I have? I mean, ooh, I still don't like her. I don't like his mom. Because he's you. Mm, finally. Thank you. So that's the two different types of people. There are, well, women or families. There are some families who are very neat, clean, oriented, know their ish, and then there are ones who just live day by day, maybe not clean up their house or anything. But as I say, impressions are everything. No matter how many times you've known someone for a long time. I don't know about that. <laughs> he's not really threatening you. He's telling you the truth. Oh my God. Boy, this boy. Oh my God. Help me. Make him understand.
So you're just gonna go to willingly. I mean, yeah, I get the fact that yes, you need to go home because um your mom. If I can compare one character from like not really an anime but like a movie, um, who's kinda similar to his mom. If any of you guys have seen the old it or the new it, it is uh I think Beverly's dad. Almost very similar to Yu's mom. But it's true. Oh my god. Responsible for what? You can't. Yeah, but you're putting so much on him. He's still a kid. No, 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 no. You are fine to do whatever the heck you want to do for your child, but still, he's still a baby, though. And I'm not talking about, like, a freaking toddler or anything, but, like, I mean, these kids are, what, in middle school? Possibly not even middle school, elementary school. But it never happened. No, don't say that. That's so old. Oh. Your mother loved you too. Just as much as your sister. You can't blame her for that. It wasn't her fault. She probably didn't mean it like that. Yeah, y'all in elementary school going into middle school. Guys. Uh, hey, that's what Liquid Courage does. I mean, make you spell all your secrets. I mean, this is her second cup, right? I mean, um, mom and her sister. But is there one with? Your mom, her sister, and your grandma? It seems like Emmy was the golden child of the, the two sisters, while Miyuki was not really the black sheep, but more of the normie kid. Who was somewhat jealous of their older brother or sister. I mean, because think about it, it's done before in other animes and TV shows, movies. It could be happening in real life families as well. Well, of course, because you don't know what the fact is. Yeah. 
But you have to. You, you can't just go throughout the rest of this dang series not actually going to your mom and saying, hey, why are you comparing me so much to my aunt? There has to be something that Kadasu does as you that makes everything just like, bam, start right then and there. I don't know. And so we have to avoid that. Who knows what it is? Oh, God. Can you wait until, you know, your buzz has calmed down? Oh my god. <laughs> Is she gone? She's still in Hadvika's house, so the past possibly? It can't be the future because we know the future is a post apocalyptic world. Unless this is like some purgatory ish. No, she's in the bed. Dang. You can see how she looks exactly like Hadaka when she's a kid. What is with these kids wanting to run away from home? Like, damn. First her money. Your son and then you. Technically you first and then your son. And so, Hadika's mom prevented her from running away from home. But, okay, hold on. Here's one thing I want to know real quick. It's weird how her memories of two years ago when her mother passed away, she kind of, like, took them out of her hat, like, put them in the back of her mind and still talked as if her mom was still alive. I don't know, bro. Is there a way of getting your mom back? Because Emmy was the better child. Emmy was the golden child. And you technically were the black sheep or the normie.
Okay, but still, is there a way that we can get her back from that dimension, though? I'm guessing she has to come home on her own. I get that, but you have to try. There's nothing else that you can do. Or you, you know, we, we're out of ideas. Focus on her and bring her back here. Yeah, I mean, because she is downstairs in y'all living room in the past. What do you see? But they're still your parents. You're their kid. Of course they're going to worry about you. would have done anything to get your mom's attention. Ain't that the same place that someone went to with Hanukkah? I mean, yes, she's never done that before.
So she went back in time, basically, as well. Well, really more of another dimension, but still in the past. I was about to say. If it ended like that, it was like... Mm. The same thing that she's currently doing to her son, she's done in the past herself as a child. Imagine if something would have happened to you. Imagine what your mom would have felt. Your mom just lost her si your sister. She can't lose you as well. I mean, I don't want to say she's selfish for, like, wanting to have the thought of running away, but the answer is right there. I'm just saying. And so, because of the fact is that she is seeing her thoughts and how it was in the past for her, I think this is really going to change her. And she's going to become a better person, not only for herself, but for her son, you. Yeah, how are we going to explain? <laughs> okay, here we go. Here. Yeah, let's just say that. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely going to better the relationship between her and her son. I think now she's not... Did you die? Wait, no, 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 wrong person, wrong character, wrong character, wrong character, wrong character, my bad, wrong freaking character. Um, I Like I said, I think this is really going to better the relationship between her and her son because let's go back to episode one. She was very, I'm not going to say manipulative, manipulative, that's the word I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Wednesday or freaking afternoon. Um, she isn't manipulative. I would say she is very controlling for, um, nine episodes in. And so now to go back into her past and to see that she was the exact same way you is as a child and wanting to run away and is kind of tired of his mom and it's like that. But the reason why she felt like that was because, you know, she has her sister's death on her hands. It's not her fault that her sister died, but in a way, she does blame herself because if she had gone with her that morning, um, she could have still been here, to, here today. And so she feels like she should have been the one who should have died and not Emmy. Like I said, Emmy was a golden child. And typically in other animes that I've seen and TV shows and movies and possibly even families, your own families or any other family in the world currently today, there is always that one golden child who gets everything they like they're like the star people the star of the family and everything and then all the other kids in that family or your cousins or nie uh, nieces and nephews they're sort of irrelevant um and they're, they're still cared for but they they're not looked as looked upon greatly as the golden child and so that gets a little more pressure on that golden child, but then also everyone else. But let, let's just also talk about the ish that Curtis, you told his, his younger self. There's something that you does 
that you know because he's like you're responsible for responsible for what but like i said nine freaking episodes in going on 10 in a, in a second and you still haven't answered that question i mean come on like that's the biggest thing as of right now. We might get that answered in 11, 12 or 11 to 24. I have no freaking idea. But something about that, like, is fishy to me. Because why would you say that and then stop mid-sentence to not give us an answer? Of course, you're going to wait until the second half of the series to tell us what that answer is. There's going to be a point in time where I feel like Haruka is going to go back into use pass to see, like something or maybe even use future to see what in the world transpired to the point where Haruka is now officially gone in one dimension and how the Karasu, uh, Karasu of a different dimension as the year before he changed his name is trying to prevent Ryu from this generation to not you know have his Haruka disappear in front of him. I still think there are going to be certain clues and certain things that they have to do from episode 10 to the end of the series to prevent this but still it's a lot of unanswered questions with this show and i'm, I'm like okay and we're because like we're also we're nine episodes in and i do like this show i have a little bit of um iffy feelings on it because i was i was also like this when i watched steins gate because i was like uh, uh-huh and then in the back of my mind when i'm sitting here thinking about it like at three four o'clock in the afternoon or six o'clock in the evening without going deep into spoilers um I have, like, so many different things running in my head. So many different, like, possibilities of how this show is going to do it. And sometimes 50-50, I'm either right about it or 50-50, I'm wrong about it. So, with this show, I'm like, I don't want to really spoil it on anything. I don't want to look up anything. And it's kind of how I was with Penguin Drum. When I did that as a Patreon show, and I was, like, binging it. And um, I, had a, I had so many questions. But I was like, I'm not going to watch a video specifically going into the detail of penguin jump or when i was doing science gate until i finished the show or until someone's like i'm gonna wait until you either finish the show or you get to a certain point into the show and then any questions that you specifically have i will answer it all in a paragraph which is nice for people to, to do because sometimes you know you need that help everybody needs help on something you shouldn't really be afraid to ask for help so but like i said it's still a lot of unanswered questions and we only nine episodes in and I just feel like with the previews for this next episode of course Haruka is possibly going to get taken away and you and Kanesu are not going to be able to be there for her in time um I'm still wondering about the guy with the moon shaped hair what him and the black girl are going to be doing um and then fucking Izumi was his name I believe uh, who was just there a couple of minutes ago because the future him has his eye like closed because he got you know ish like that what he's gonna do of course he's gonna try to you know beat the crap out of Kadasu, but it's still there's still stuff that lingers so yeah <laughs> that's all i can say right now but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you in one second for episode 10 <laughs> all right episode 10 in three two one Oh yeah, you guys don't even know that she's back, really. I thought I, I kind of assumed that somebody would have told them, but they're about to find out now. Now, are they going to animate that meeting? Probably not. Because it maybe doesn't seem important now for whatever this meeting is going to be about. But, like, give it about, like, two, three, four, five, six, seven episodes later. You know, they're probably going to be like, oh, hey. She's going to be like, hmm. Remember that meeting I had in episode 10? Let's talk about that. I mean, I don't know. It's still with a lot of 
questionable things about this show, but it's still, I like it. It's good. It's different. For a show that came out in, I don't remember when this came out, 2005, I believe I said, um, it's still interesting. It leaves you, no matter what, wanting more. And that's the one thing that I love about anime in general, but it depends on how well you do that. It's right. And I mean, hey, you put clip fingers in it. I'm okay with that, even though I, I'm a person who despises cliffhangers, especially if it was Sidegate, Simple Gear, um, Darling, when Darling was on at that time and did, like, I think one or two episodes with cliffhangers, even though, you know, <laughs> as someone who loved Darling in the beginning and then ended up talking mad-ish about it. I mean, we all did. Who didn't talk mad-ish about Darling? I mean, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> unless you really liked it. And it was just like, I don't want to talk any about the show. Yeah, nah, 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 but I get that. <laughs> That's good that they're back to normal with their relationship. <laughs> I mean, that y'all ain't gonna knock on the door? It's just, let me yell up to the window. You, you saw me looking at her like, what the fuck, woman? I know you drunk, but, um, it, it's just, you, you're drunk. She drunk. You say weird things when you're drunk. She drunk. Mm hmm She enjoying herself. Let her enjoy herself. She had to stick up her butt for, like, <clears throat> eight episodes. <laughs> Complicated. Mm. Yeah, I see. Here we go again with the ghost set. No, no, no. I, you know what? I I don't think you would believe this ish. I mean, you know, this is a story that we got to talk about. See? How to tell you should have just like made up something like it's just the wind, guys. Like, mm. you guys really see him? I 
and you leave without answering any questions? Oh. Me too. What he can't, that would really kind of spoil the series. So. Yeah, you know, I mean, haven't you seen TV shows where they talk about time travel in ish, and then if you mess up something, that you just screw the fabric of time? Just saying. It's sweet to see you when you saw me like that, but you know, Karasu, he's feeling a type of way right now because the older he's saw he wants to kill him because he's a traitor and he's like, ah. oh, you, you can't go anywhere walking like that. <laughs> Probably not that long. It's been like what, maybe a couple of days to a week since you guys have left. To me, I feel like between the two, Toby might die first. It'd be fucked up if they kill her first, though. I'm just saying. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean that, it, it's weird as fuck, but I mean, it just happened, you know? I got a bad feeling about this. Of course, there he is. You got his little switchblade to protect him? Probably not. Or what is it like? Mm, an exacto knife? No, because the exacto knife is pointed like this, like a triangle. <laughs> it makes you think of the older he's going to pop up as well.
Mm -hmm. I told you. Okay. Makes you kind of wonder who Ot said is freaking like who he is in the past. He's got to be someone that has interacted with these kids before. I'm sorry. Maybe we haven't met him yet. Told you. You from the future, it's complicated. You would think you saw me would look was like, oh no, wait, let me look at your facial features real quick. Oh my god, you look like me. You know, if you were younger. <laughs> but of course, it's never really that easy. It's either supposed to be. I don't think that's I because we've seen I already, and I don't think a future I would go down there. So it has to be. A, I don't remember. It's her, her name starts with M. The only other girl who's there, but she has glasses. Well, that's going to be Florida soon because we're supposed to have everything. Well, Gil, we kind of know that. But 
how well I mean, hey, and it's a perfect time for them to come. It's raining, dark, nighttime. It's the perfect time to come and catch them no matter what. Yeah, hiding in the shadows. Yeah, but so do you need to get out of there. I mean, if you interfere again, he will kill you. And you know I like you. You're interesting character, and I don't want you to die. Please don't go outside. Oh no! What, two, three minutes? Three minutes. Okay. Oh, do not end in a cliffhanger, please. I'm not watching the next episode until this weekend. Perfectly, probably Sunday. Because they had to go to Ezra. Mm -hmm. I guess because they've been in their world so long.
They're going to end it on a cliffhanger. This is a cliffhanger. I know it. Oh, my God. That's a cliffhanger. I literally just said five minutes before this episode. Don't end on a goddamn cliffhanger. And what'd you do? You had it on a cliffhanger. That's BS. That is pure BS. Like, why would you do that? I mean, yes, to anticipate the moment and get ready for, you know, um, 11 and 12. But, like, I, okay, here's the biggest thing. I don't want to see um, Easy being used future selves fighting each other because they're friends. And because of this one little thing, it just... <sighs> Screws up their whole friendship. The lady who is in Hadika's room. I want to know who she is. She kind of looks like I. But she has to be. Um, I think her name is Mihal. Or something. She's the only. She's the only one whose future person we haven't seen yet. Out of everybody. Because there's only like. There's only five main characters. Three girls and two boys. And we've seen. The two boys and, you know, well, we haven't even seen Hadika's future self because I don't think I'm going to say that. We've seen Yuz, Izumi's, and I. The Hadika is just, like, because, you know, gone. The only one we haven't seen is the girl with the glasses who I like so much. So that's maybe possibly going to be her. I don't know. I don't want to assume. But so hopefully maybe next week we do get an answer on that because... It'd be really messed up if, like, they just show her and we never get news on her. Oh. <laughs> you to come together and, like, forgive each other and the ish that they've done in the past episodes and the fact that they're betraying because he's a mean teacher self thinks God is you is a traitor because he's trying to protect Hanukkah. That's all I really want. I just want them to come together and so that he goes back home when Iza, when a future Izumi goes back home, he can just tell everybody we're siding with you and we're going to save, protect um, Hanukkah from today i'm just saying like come on now i just i need these two to just connect again I, i'm glad that they're also having like younger i meet future izumi and like how that's gonna go i think that's gonna be really interesting and then it makes it if like if they could do an episode where old, younger izumi meets future i like that would be good as well but like giving me that because i'm like i do kind of ship izumi and i together because of course I has a crush on him. If you didn't know, now you know. I mean, it's freaking obvious. Like, ever since, you know, he gave her the little keychain and she's kept that near and dear to herself. And how she felt jealous of Haruka when Haruka had one as well. I mean, mm, feeling some type of way. Come on, she a girl. I'm a girl. I, you know, we know these things. As a female, we know these things. Come on now. I mean, yes, there are some guys who also know these things as well. But... Some guys are not really, I'm not going to say dumb, because there are a lot of very smart, intelligent guys in the world, but some guys don't really get the clue or the hint about the girl liking the guy until, like, it's way too late. And just, but, I, I mean, I'm really excited to see what happens in 11 and 12, specifically 11, just to see older Izumi and younger I you know, just interact. Whether it's a minute or two minutes, it ain't gonna be for the whole freaking episode, but just a little bit, because maybe he might sit down and talk to her. If he really cares about her, which the signs are there, he might end up telling her, like, everything. I don't want him to go on full spoiler territory and, like, oh, hey, we can't say anything because of this. But, just number one, who you are. Because now since Hadika knows I feel like everybody else is going to find out, too. Eventually. There's going to be a moment where the rest of these kids are going to find... Possibly even meet their future selves. I mean, I wouldn't have a problem if it happens like that. Or if the show chooses to say, hey, let these younger kids meet their future selves. And I think that would be a very interesting thing for them to do. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episodes 9 and 10 of To Your Other Self. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreons. And next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 11 and 12.
Bye, guys.